Lucas, Luke 6. And it came to pass on the second Shabbat, after the first, that he went through the fields. And his Talmudim plucked the heads of grain and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. And certain of the Parashim said unto them, Why do ye that eth which is not lawful to do on the Shabbat? And Yahusha answering them said, Have ye not read so much as this? What David did, eth when he himself was hungry, and they which were with him? How he went into the house of Yahuwah, and did take and eat the showbread of Yahuwah, and gave also to them that were with him, eth which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priests alone? And he said unto them, That the son of Adam is Adonai also of the Shabbat. And it came to pass also on another Shabbat that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered, and the scribes in Pedashim watched him, whether he would de rather whether he would heal on the Shabbat that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Yahusha unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Shabbat to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it. And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And they were filled with madness, and communed one with another what they might do to Yahusha. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to Yah. And when it was day, he called unto him his Eth Talmudim, and of them he chose twelve, whom also he named apostles, Eth Shimon, whom he also named Kepha, and Eth Andrai, his brother, Eth Yaakov, and Eth Yahuchanan, Eth Philip, and at Bar Talmai, at Matit Yahu, and at Teom, at Yaakov the son of Chelef, and at Shimon the Zealot, and at Yahuda the brother of Yaakov, and at Yahuda Ish Krirot, which also was the traitor. And he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his Talmudim, and a great multitude of people, out of all of Yahud and Yerushalayim, and from the sea coast of Sor and Sidon, which came to hear him, and to be healed of their diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean Ruachoth, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, and he healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his Talmudim and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of Yahuwah. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the son of Adam's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received at your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers, the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, 
Love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smites you on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that takes away your cloak, forbid him not to take your coat also. Give to every man that asks of you, and of him that takes away your goods, ask them, ask not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of El Elian, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And he spoke a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The Talmud is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. And why behold the mote that is in your brother's eye, but perceive not the beam that is in your own eye? Either how can you say to your brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in your eye, when you yourself behold not the mote, rather the beam that is in your own eye? You hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of your own eye, and then shall you see clearly to pull out the mote that is in your brother's eye. For a good tree brings not forth corrupt fruit, neither does a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a thorn bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth that which is evil. For the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. And why call ye me Adonai, Adonai, and do not at the things which I say. Whosoever comes to me and hears me saying, rather my sayings, and does them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house, and dug deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that hears and does not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great.